Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Places for light bites. Hmm. Places. So this has got to be somewhere plural. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Corporate VIP. That's probably a CEO. Author Pratchett. Isn't there an Anne Pratchett? I think she showed up kind of recently. Light Bites. I guess this could be cafes, right? Make into legislation? That's gotta be enact. Let's see if this is a theme answer here. Thinking A or B. Hmm. This is italics. This is definitely a theme answer. It's about trying to decide, right? One or the other? Hmm. Like that's ever gonna happen. An equivalent phrase. Huh. It starts with F-A. I want this to be fat chance. That's pretty funny. Repeats, repeats, repeats. Each time getting smaller. This kind of looks like an echo, so this could be echoes. Is it E-S? Is that how to spell it? Acronym whose E stands for engineering. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. So this starts with on the. Hmm. I wonder if it's on the fence. Yeah, because that's trying to decide, right? Awakens. That could be comes to. Yeah, you're waking up. Select or chosen quantity. You hear select few or chosen few quite often. Arnez who loved Lucy. That was Desi, yeah. Talking point. And this is wordplay, so it's not a rhetorical point that you're trying to drive home. I wonder if this is a place where someone would talk. That could be a dais, yeah. That's pretty tricky. Tilts. Hmm. Is this going to be a verb? What do we have next door? Big name in printers and copiers. I think Rico makes those things, right? Get value from, yeah, that's gonna be use. Grand Cru, French wine designation. Yeah, that's kind of a word for a vineyard. Tilts. Hmm, I wanna say this is cants. Is that right? Is that what it means? I think that might be right. Let's see here. Thinking A, no B, no A. <laughs> this is very wishy-washy. Okay, so yeah, this is, I guess, trying to make a decision. And it's a really hard decision. Rolling Stones album, Get Your Yayas Out, I believe. What visitors to Niagara Falls are often in. I think a lot of people would be in awe. That's a lot of water. Bottomless chasm. That's got to be an abyss. That'd be an even bigger chasm than Niagara Falls. Okay. This is Aer Lingus, the Irish airline. Hall of Fame coach who purportedly said, once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. Hmm. Coach. I wonder if this is a football coach. Who could this be? I'm not sure. It's not Yogi Berra. He definitely doesn't fit. Approves. That's gotta be okay's. Paleontologist's tool. Hmm. They would use a pick, right? And maybe a brush? Yeah. Impudent. It's not nosy. Hmm. Tosses up as an easy question. That'll be lobs. Gumbo green is okra. Art Spiegelman's Pulitzer winning graphic novel. That is mouse. Okay, so this is sassy. Yeah, that makes sense. So this has got to be Vince Lombardi. He was a football coach. 
Okay. Have tired muscles. This looks like it's gonna be egg. Tolerate. Is it abide? Blank Island, which is actually a peninsula. I wonder if this is Coney Island. I do know that's not actually an island. Toot one's horn, yeah, that's boast. Raisins, sometimes for a snowman. I guess you could use raisins to make snowman eyes, yeah. Indeed, quaintly. Tis. Okay. It's going to have to wait. Hmm. It's not, not now. We're gonna need a little bit more help here. Let's see what this grid spanner is. Modern term for the psychological exhaustion showcased in this puzzle's theme. It's gotta start with decision, right? It's not decision paralysis. It's psychological exhaustion. Maybe it's decision fatigue. That would fit, yeah. Bette Midler's divine nickname. Oh man, what do they call Bette Midler? Hmm. I'm not sure, maybe with a little help I can come up with it. What might help wrap up a gift or a performance? This could be a bow and a bow. Spanish number. Hmm. And this is referencing the Spanish number. Twice 32 down. Uh, maybe this is dos. And this could be uno. That would work. Airport served by BART for short. Okay, that's the train in San Francisco. So this will be SFO. So this is I'm busy. There we go. That makes sense. Is this Midge? Iconic logo in athletic apparel. No, that's the Nike swoosh. Hmm. Is it Missy? Targeted things on the internet. I guess this is targeted ads, yeah. Is this Missy? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Thinking A, but also thinking B, gah. <laughs> Okay, so is it I can't choose? That doesn't fit, does it? Hmm. This could be a Y. Hey, caught ya. And this is another equivalent phrase. Hmm. It feels like it needs to start with I saw, but it can't be I saw you. Hmm. Window blind elements. Okay, those are slats. Titanic Award. I guess this is talking about the movie. It definitely won an Oscar or two. Emergency signal, that's an alert. Zaps in a way. Maybe this is tases. Yeah, that would be a way to zap someone. So this starts with oat. Is that right? This feels wrong. Blank only, store sign. Hmm, yeah, something is definitely wrong here. Carpet measurement. Well, that's gotta be area. Musical symbol for silence. Okay, this is a rest. So finally we know alert is wrong. Emergency signal. Oh, I guess that could be a flare too. This could be cash only, that makes sense. And this is, I saw that. <laughs> okay. We think this might be a Y of two minds. Yeah, you can be of two minds about something. It's another way to describe having a difficult time deciding. Okay. National Gallery of Art Architect. This is a wild guess, but I have to imagine it's I am pay. Spots for polish. That could be nails for nail polish. Bad impression. And this is a wordplay clue, so it's not about leaving a bad impression on another person. I think this is leaving a literal impression. Maybe in a car? It could be a dent, yeah. Fast bygone jet for short. 
That would be a supersonic transport. This looks like it has to be a maestro, right? Superconductors? <laughs> Another wordplay clue, yeah. This is not about some kind of advanced metal. This is a super orchestra conductor, a maestro. Okay, let's see what our last little bit of decision fatigue is. Thinking A, B, maybe even C. Hmm, P-I-N-T. That looks a little weird. Traditional Hanukkah gift. I think that's Gelt. A man of his word. Ew. Another equivalent phrase. Ugh. So... Maybe it's up in the air? Yeah. Okay. A language spoken along the Mekong. That's definitely Thai. Hip-hop article. Oh, this is interesting. This is asking for a definite article that's used in hip-hop. That would be the, yeah. That's a nice tricky clue. In accordance with, hmm. What is the word for this? Let's get some crossing help. Adroit, that could be deft. Ancient readers of the Book of the Dead. Hmm. Is it Egyptians? How does this start? I'm not sure. Running on fumes? That's not a situation you want to be in. A little emotional say. I guess if you were just a little emotional, you could be teary. All right. Peruvian singer Sumac. That is Ima Sumac. It really is looking like this is starting with Egypt. In accordance with... Yeah, this should be as per. So this is Egypt. Very small informally. That's Itzy. In myth they allure, but on the street they alert. Okay, this is sirens. Yeah, two very different kinds of sirens. Hmm, this feels like it has to be Egyptians. So is this maestri? Oh my god, it's plural. It's conductors plural. That is really, really tricky. Okay, so this is Egyptians. Letters for debtors. That would be I-O-U. Bread for a patty melt. That should be rye. So we have annoy, peak. And issue, matter of debate. Speaking of a debate, yeah. All right, well, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 16 minutes. So we had a really hard time making a decision today. This theme was all about decision fatigue. We were on the fence, wishy-washy, of two minds and up in the air. Yeah, all of these phrases are 10 letters long too. It's kind of funny, each one of them could sub in for the other. I guess they didn't want to have to decide which wishy-washy phrase to put in, so they just put in all of them. And there was also a good deal of wordplay today. I really liked talking point for dais, and also this one, superconductors for maestri. That is very, very tricky. Oh, and this turned out to be Miss M. Yeah, I don't think I've heard that before. I'm gonna have to try and remember that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Wednesday puzzle with me. I haven't been affected by decision fatigue because I've resolved to come back tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.